Hello and welcome to today's session where we're going to look at how to eliminate a C background noise. We're going to look at how to eliminate a C background noise. This is common for those people who do home recording or the artists that record their own songs from their homes and sometimes they have to deal with some background noise. This is one of those cases. We're going to step by step see how to eliminate the AC background noise so that your vocal is clean as if it were recorded in a proper acoustic uh, studio, right? So uh, let's go straight into the tutorial. Uh, so let's go straight into the tutorial. We'll begin by listening to a section of this song. Let's have a listen to this. Nico now my highs and lows Nico now my eyes on the price so you know Nico now my highs and lows Nico now my eyes on the price so you know Nico now my highs and lows Nico now my eyes on the price so you know Nico now my highs and lows So if you listen very carefully with proper speakers you will have two problems to handle at first hand The first one is that we have a bit of annoying breaths and then we have the AC background oozing noise, right? So we'll begin with, uh, we do a bit of cleanup with the breaths and then we go straight to our main, our main thing that is eliminating the AC background noise. Now, uh, you just need to press command six for those ones using logic and then you land to this audio editor section. Now, if you look at this first section here, we have something that looks like this. And that's the way it sounds right so you can hear some oozing and some breath okay so we'll begin by eliminating a bit of breath right I've customized my keyboard shortcuts with F for fade out and J for silence uh, you can customize your own uh, shortcuts in uh, logic if you want to and then uh, we do that a bit fade out, a bit of fade out. Mm -hmm. We can eliminate that actually. There's nothing there. And then this, this part, we also have a bit of breath, right? So in this section, we're going to do a little bit of cleanup. And this sometimes could take a bit of your time to do this. You need to be a bit patient as you clean right okay sometimes if you're not used to this you have to listen so that you don't eliminate the actual vocal instead of the breath okay but over time you get used to the way the breath looks like in a vocal Okay, and sometimes the breaths are similar to the S noise, so you need to be a bit careful. The S and the SH. Okay, we're almost done. We're actually done. Okay, let's have a listen to how it sounds. Nico now my highs and lows. Nico now my eyes on the price, so you know. Nico now my highs and lows. Nico now my eyes on the price, so you know. Nico now my highs and lows. Nico now my eyes on the price, so you know. Nico now my highs and lows. So if you listen to that, we actually have eliminated the breaths. There's no disturbing signal of the breaths. So we're remaining with the AC noise. For us to do that, we need to press command six in logic. And then it opens up the audio editor window. We close the audio editor window, then go to the edit section. Down there, there is open in Isotope RX8 audio editor. Open that. And then you land into RX8. This is the interface. This is the way RX8 looks like at a glance. Okay. First of all, just a quick glance on your right. There is the vertical 
the vertical axis. This vertical axis uh, represents the audio frequency spectrum from 0 hertz to 20 kilohertz, right? And then in the horizontal scale, uh, it represents the time, the time of that audio signal. Now, uh, at first, this could be a bit intimidating, but over time, you get used to the way it looks like, and over time, you get used to how to deal with audio signal within RX-8, right? Now, uh, let's try and locate the exact audio signal that represents the AC rumble, right? Uh, you can see the part that I've highlighted down here that represents that. We'll have a listen to the way it sounds. If you have the right speakers, you could hear that rumble. But if you're using your phone or maybe small speakers, you might not be able to hear this. Okay. Right. That is the rumble that we're going to use. And today we're going to the different ways of eliminating these. But today we're going to use just a simple way. You can use the EQ because down there, there's no vocal. So we can go ahead and use the EQ to get rid of that. And we're going to use the high pass filter to get rid of that. We'll have just run that to above 100, just something like 109 there will be good. 109 hertz, right? And then we render out. Cool works like magic I actually eliminated that rumble there's nothing down there right but we're not yet done because there's some aspects of the rumble that um, and that reside slightly above the hundred hearts okay I'm going to highlight that and play that so that you can hear that okay this part here Let's have a listen to this. Exactly. That's the kind of uh, noise that we're going to eliminate. So we'll use spectral denoise. We learn that part and then we render out. Right? That takes a few seconds, especially if the audio signal is not very lengthy. All right, we're done with that. And then, just a quick, down here we have a bit of a remainder of that signal, right? Might be like a small part, but it brings in some slight rumble. Okay, we're going to learn that part and then we render out so that we reduce that rumble completely to levels that are not disturbing. Okay. Yeah, okay, it's done. It's done now. Okay, well, let's have a listen to the vocal without the rumble. Nico now my eyes on the price so you know. Nico now my highs and lows. Nico now my eyes on the price so you know. Okay, it's very clean. But I can hear a bit of clicks, a bit of clicks. We're going to use mouth declick, mouth declick to try and eliminate the clicks. Okay. If you want to have a listen to what we're eliminating, actually you can solo output clicks only and then you preview. Okay, that is exactly what we want to eliminate, just to clean the voice a little bit. Okay, I normally use eliminate clicks with low latency uh, preset up here, right? Don't want to be very radical in my elimination of clicks. And then I render out here. Yeah. Very good. After that, then you go to file, overwrite original file. We want to overwrite the file that is in logic. 
Okay. After doing that, we go back to logic. Okay. Now, this is what we have was our clean audio. Niko na my highs and lows. Niko na my eyes on the price, so you know. Niko na my highs and lows. Beautiful, beautiful. Sounds nice, clean, no rumble, no clicks. The voice sounds very, very nice. So let's have a listen to how it sounded eventually in the final mix. That thank you so much, thank you. This marks the end of the section where we uh, looked at how to eliminate AC background noise. How we eliminate the AC background noise from a vocal. We also eliminated uh, the breaths by reducing the, uh, them a little bit so that the vocal is a bit clean. And then we we had to clean some clicks from a vocal. Do not hesitate to subscribe, like, and leave a comment. Thank you.